Yo, what is up you guys? It's your boy Mr. Clutch, back again on Madden 19 Ultimate Team. And today we got brand new legends in the game. We got Barry Sanders, Brian Dawkins, and Everson Walls. Shout out to Everson Walls, he's a cowboy. But before we go ahead and get into uh, looking at these cards, I want to pay my respect to uh, True Boy and um, Spot Me Please, the, the guys that um, passed away in the uh, shooting in Florida at the Madden Tournament. You know, they were really, really good guys. You know, I, I watched them uh, play throughout the Madden uh, championships and tournaments and stuff like that. And, you know, they were really, really cool guys. But, um, you know, prayers up for uh, th those guys' uh, uh, families. You know, that was a terrible, terrible uh, tragedy that, um, you know, that's happened. You know, you, you would never think at a, at a video gaming tournament that that would even ever happen. I mean, that's just terrible. But um, let's go ahead and get into looking at these cards, guys. And um, let's see what we got here. We got a 91 Barry Sanders. He has 91 speed. That's actually really good. 70 trucking ain't too bad either. 70 catching. 89 break tackle. Obviously, Barry, Barry Sanders is a glitch. You know, he's, he's going to do his thing. All right, we got 91 Brian Dawkins. He has 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 86 hit power, and 89 zone coverage. That's honestly not too bad. Um, I wish his tackling was up there a little bit better, but at least we got a fast safety now. Alright, and on to Everson Walls, the best legend. The, <laughs> the best legend. This go around, and he's not even on the auction house. That's how good he is. He's just, <laughs> he's just that good. Well, actually, he probably is on the auction house. I just didn't think that he was a 92 or better. Okay, 92 Everson Walls, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 jumping, 92 player rack, 92 zone coverage, 88 man coverage, 88 press, 88 agility. That's honestly not a really bad card at all. It's just his speed. Speed is the only thing that's going to kill him there. But, um, guys, I got a little something in store for you guys. Um, I w I'm going to go ahead and show y'all my team, and then, uh, we're going to open some packs. We're going to open some packs, and I know I've been bagging on EA, and they deserve every bit of it. They really, really do, but I just, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for you guys. Um, so, we got 91 Jerry Ross. We got 89 Randy Moss, 89 Antonio Brown, 84 Tyree Kill. Our receiving core is absolutely fabulous. Let me let me tell you that right now. Uh, we got really good tight ends. We got 87 George, Jordan Reed, 88 Zach Ertz. Our offensive line is pretty dang good. Um, Travis Reddick is um, the, the lowest one. He's at an 85, which ain't too bad either. Um, we got Cam Newton. I think we're about to we're about to close in on getting his 88 version. Uh, we probably won't be able to get his uh, full version, but you know, I mean, that's okay. Uh, we got Saquon Barkley, Ezekiel Elliott, running back, um, Luke Keekley, Deion Jones, Telvin Smith, Anthony Barr, Adrian Amos, Sean Taylor. Uh, we got Jalen Ramsey, Marshawn Lattimore, Desmond Trufant. I'm currently working on getting a left end. We got Khalil Mack at right end, and then we got Joe McCoy and Limbo Joseph in the middle. Um, I had to I, I, here recently. I had to drop um, most of my corners because uh, they were uh, really slow. It was Rob Woodson and Champ Bailey. Um, the only reason why I, dro I, I dropped uh, Champ, Champ Bailey is because uh, he. I mean, he was he was pretty fast, but his pressing was really really low, and I like to press sometimes. Especially, you know, in uh, short situations. Uh, so, I went ahead and picked up Jalen Ramsey and Marshawn Lattimore. I know, you know, their press and um, their uh, speed is up there. So, they're going to be really good corners for us. Um, and if you guys are running like a budget team, or um, just want somebody out there that can make some freaking plays... DRC is your man. I'm telling you right now, this guy has had an interception in every single game that I've played so far this season. 
And it, I'm six and two. Uh, I actually, that's all I am is six and two. I haven't played any more head to head. But he's gotten an interception in every one of them. I swear he has. He's got 86 speed and 88 jumping and 81 press. So I mean, yeah, I mean that's probably what gets him the interceptions is the speed and the jumping and press. I I wouldn't say um his man coverage and zone coverage is all that great or acceleration. But uh, he is a really good budget corner if you guys need a corner that can make some freaking plays. He he is your guy, I'm telling you right now. Uh, but I believe that's all for the lineup. I got Matt Prater at kicker, and uh, I got a gold punter, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and get into these packs. See what we got. We got um, we're going to open... Uh, we're going to open two Legends uh, Fantasy Packs. And I believe that's all we're going to open. Let me see here. Uh, no, we'll have we'll have enough left over to get a gold premium pack at the very end. So, come on, EA. I know you're wanting to screw me over as much as I've been bagging on y'all, but come on. Power up right off the bat. Tyree Kill. Hey. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's a good power up. I'll take it. Go ahead and take that one. Alright, what do we got in the second round? Tell me we at least have an elite. Come on, man. No elites at all. Alright. Last round. 80 Bradley Pinion. 85 Doug Baldwin. And here's the legend. 85 Barry Sanders. Okay. Now I'm going to have to look it up and see what these guys go for. Because um, I'm not really sure. Barry Sanders goes for a whopping 35k. I'll take it. I mean that wasn't a terrible pack. But it could have been way better. That's facts. Alright. All right, last Legends Fantasy Pack. And then we're going to open a gold premium. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. I'm broke. And not only that, but I know what I know what um, EA will give me. I, I really do. So, let me see here. Choose the 364s. Or the 264s and the 72. Come on, we need an Elite. There's no elite in sight, man. 79 kicker. Okay. Alright, come on. We need to be clutch in this round. 83, Joe Hayden. 84, Brandon McManus. Here's the legend. 83, Ted Hendricks. That's pretty trash. Man, I don't know about you guys, but these packs this year absolutely suck. I don't know what is going on, man. They tell us our freaking odds, and it, it's like the packs get worse. So I don't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's going on this year. They have, they have a lot of work to do if they're going to keep a, you know, a lot of fans and a, you know, a lot of uh, players in in Madden Ultimate Team. I think a lot of them is probably going to switch over to a uh, connected franchise. And uh, all that, cause it's just totally, it's just not worth it. It re it really isn't like to do do this ultimate team thing. I mean, it, it's all right to grind, but like you know, grind on solo challenges, grind on head to head. But don't don't freaking open packs. Like don't open packs like I'm doing, cause it's really stupid. It's really really stupid. All right, let's open this gold premium. Get it out of the way. We all know what's in it. Trash. Yep. It's like I said. Alright, well, um, I also have another thing I want to talk about. Um, I don't know if you guys, uh, saw where I tweeted this out. But, um, it was about... Um, how they pretty much brainwashed us into doing power-ups. Last year, 
we we could do power ups, but the power ups that we did, you know, was cards that we stuck with throughout the year. You know, we we invested into those players, but this year it's like totally different. We have to. It's almost like, um, it's almost like like I said, they they brainwashed us into just powering up all of our players to you know to make them better, to make them a better overall. Like it's really when you look at it, the training points that you uh, have to have to power them up. It's really not that much. So all of us, we're, we're you know we're looking at it. We're like 150 training points. Pfft, you know that ain't nothing. Let me let me just go ahead and power them up and keep powering them up. And you know next thing you know, you're buying cards off the auction house. That you know I, what I usually do is I buy I buy 85 Reggie Watts, and I'll quick sell them for 375 training points because I, I that's how important training points has become to me it's almost like they're more important than coins so that's how i'm saying like we pretty much got brainwashed into doing power-ups this year like it's such a big thing like my whole team is nat there's no coins coming in the only coins that are coming in is through sniping and i don't even snipe that much because i ain't got the time for it you know if you got the time for it you know that's cool and all you know i'm 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 a hundred percent up for sniping like that is that's all I've done the past three or four years, man. That's how that's how I've made all my money, and of course open packs too. But the thing is, um, it's not right by EA, um, to do this. It really isn't like. And when we unpower them up, we lose half of our training points, and we lose our coins. So you know, and that's the thing. We get players on here that we power up, and they don't get. Any, it's like, you know, they don't get any better upgrade. Like Desmond Trufant, what if he just gets this 88 version all year and that's all he gets? You know, because he don't have a good year. Or something like that. You know, we're, we're really taking a lot of risks on these uh, power-ups. Because we don't know if they're going, you know, we don't know if they're going to get a better version or not. So, you know, they could be stuck at that certain overall and we could be stuck with uh, having to unpower them up, losing half our training points, losing their coins, and selling their base elite card, and you know for whatever it goes for, which probably won't be much. But the more we go into this, they're going to come out with team of the weeks for these cards and everything else. We're going to be investing a lot more into these cards. Like we're we're probably going to spend, let's say, um. Let's say Gerald McCoy gets the team of the week, and he gets like a 93 overall. We go ahead and we we go um, we go and buy it, and uh, just to get him to a 94 overall because he's already powered up. You know that's that's a lot of coins that we're investing. Because let me tell you right now, let me just go ahead and look on here. Gerald McCoy has got. Let's see. I think he has two upgrades already. He's got his base elite. Which is, I think it's the 87 or 86, actually. And then he has a 91. And then how much you want to bet that a lot of these cards this year gets a lot gets Team of the Weeks. They get like, um you know, plus two overall or whatever. And then you wind up buying these cards for like 200k or whatever price they are. I mean, we're, we're just investing so much freaking coins into this. And we all know the market is going to drop, you know, after we after we buy the card. And, you know, it drops, it goes up, it drops, it goes up. But more than likely, we're stuck losing coins. And we're, we're stuck losing half of our training points if we unpower them up and invest into other cards. So, I mean, that's pretty much what my rant's about. I think people, honestly, they understand. They understand where I'm coming from, and they understand that we did get brainwashed this year. And they're just even more money-hungry than they've ever been. So, you know, I, and I know I, I just got through open, open Impacts, but it's honestly all for you guys. I'm going to come out with my first video that will be gameplay here soon, so... uh um, and that, that'll probably come out with, uh, within the next two or three days or something like that. So, uh, just stay tuned for that. I believe that's all I wanted to show you guys and, you know, rant about. It's been your boy, Mr. Clutch. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.